hi welcome back to my youtube channel we talk so this is the first video uh, in oracle web logic server series so in this video we'll see about uh, the installation of web logic server along with uh, some prerequisites and the kind of installers are available for the web logic server so this video is specifically about uh, the current version which is 12.2.1.4.0 of web logic server so in this series, uh, uh, we'll first we'll see about the installations of WebLogic Server. And in the next subsequent uh, videos, in part two, we'll see how to create a domain. And in third part, we'll see how to deploy the applications. So this video is specifically about to see the installations of WebLogic Server. And then shortly, we'll be follow up with the other uh, uh, videos as well. So in this video, we will cover the installation of WebLogic Server 12.2.1.4.0, which is released just a couple of months back on September 27, 2019. You can download this from uh, the, the link that you are seeing in the screen, or you can just search for to download Oracle WebLogic Server in your, uh, any search engine, and then you will be uh, see that this download link is there. So these are the different kind of WebLogic installers provided by the Oracle as of today for the current version. The first one is the generic installer for Oracle WebLogic Server and Oracle Coherence. So Oracle Coherence is, is a different technology. We are not going to discuss about that one, but that is something which is bundled with the Oracle WebLogic Server for some enhancement and performance. And uh, the, this generic installer is uh, an installer that you can use for the installations of WebLogic on, on any operating system supported by the JVM, Java. Okay, so you can use and download this installer and you can use this to install this WebLogic either on the any Unix based operating systems, Linux, Solaris, and, and apart from that, you can use the same uh, installer for the installation of WebLogic in your uh, Windows machine as well. Second is the Slim installer uh, for uh, WebLogic. Okay, so sim this Slim installer is, uh, you can say it's a, it's specifically designed for for the development perspectives and and specifically for uh, to be integrated with some uh, advanced uh, automated tools uh, automated tools like dockers and kubernetes and all and then you have a quick installer for other mac and then windows as well this is specifically again designed for some uh, development uh, kind of activities Okay, and uh, the first one, which is a quick installer, uh, is is uh, will not come with any kind of uh, documentations or samples. Okay, and then supplement uh, installer that if you wanted to uh, to to configure your quick installer again with uh, with your samples or or, or some other uh, documentations, then you can use the supplement installer to uh, to uh, integrate it with your quick installer. So in this video, we are going to uh, install. Uh, WebLogic 12214 using the generic uh, installer. So you can download it from the provided link and then once you will click on the download, okay, you have to accept the generic license agreement from the Oracle and then you can click on download. And uh, But before going ahead for download, uh, if you have not uh, signed up for any free account with the Oracle, then first you have to sign up for a free account with the Oracle and then you can able to download uh, this installer and along with the other uh, softwares uh, uh, from the Oracle. So once you will download uh, this Oracle WebLogic server, you will find a zip file with the, with the name that you are seeing in the screen. And there would be two files inside that one. One is ended with the .zar, which is a standard generic installer for WebLogic. And second is the readme HTML file, which you can refer for, uh, for to see the instructions of installations and for other, inst uh, other kind of information. For this web logic, you need uh, a Java 1.8 for the installations of your this web logic, and then for installation in uh, my machine, uh, I have created a directory with name WLS 12214 inside C drive, okay, which is also called as a middleware home, and then uh, inside your uh, uh, Java directory to initiate the installer. Either you can go inside your Java bin directory and then you can run the command Java hyphen jar uh, by giving the complete full name of your jar installer. 
and the second option is uh, you can go to uh, directly go to the installer uh, directory and then you can initiate uh, the java hyphen jar and with the name of installer by giving the complete path of your java and depend on the privileges on your window machine you have uh, make sure to run uh, this command prompt as uh, as an administrator okay otherwise it will not allow you to install uh, this software it will install without any uh, admin rights now one point apart from uh, uh, apart from that uh, installation instructions that when you are installing this weblogic server on any unix based machines like linux then uh, if you are installing your this uh, any any middleware or any of this weblogic first time then it will prompt you for uh, to provide um, a one uh, installation uh, directory apart from installation directory you have to provide oracle central inventory location which is a location uh, this is created for first time when you install any uh, middleware product in your uh, unix based machine which contain all the information about all the products oracle products or middleware homes that you have installed in your uh, unix based uh, machine so this is the prompt for to provide the inventory directory location along with the group of that particular directory so when you install when you initiate the installer to install the weblogic in any linux machine then after uh, giving this information it create a default directory with name uh, oral inventory which is called ora inventory in your uh, home directory and inside that ora inventory it will uh, uh, place a file with the name create central inventory.sh so before continuing ahead with the complete installation you have to go to the ora inventory location and then you have to run create central inventory.sh command uh, using the uh, root login so this is one time activity where this uh, central repository or inventory will be created inside your etc uh, uh, location etc directory with the name ora inst.loc which will include the directory locations of your ora inventory and then subsequently for other installations you don't need to provide this kind of details again and again because this is the one time activity if you are installing any oracle uh, middleware product in your unix based machine first time so let's go with uh, um, uh, the installations of uh, weblogic server okay so um, so this is the location in my system i have copied uh, this uh, installer file inside my uh, c drive wls okay and now i am going to initiate uh, this installer uh, from the command prompt so i will go to command prompt and i will initiate it as a administrator okay so now i have two option either i can go to inside java directory and then i can initiate the installer and second option i can go to my installation uh, my installer directory and then i can initiate uh, by giving the complete path of java so here i am going inside my java direct current java directory bin folder where i have a java exe file exist and then i am executing by giving a java hyphen jar and the complete path of my installer okay so this is currently i am inside the java 8 bin directory which is a java 1.8 which i have installed already in my windows machine okay so you can install before installing your web browser server you can install download and install java 1.8 from uh, from the oracle website okay for that again you have to create a free account before downloading the software and the same account that you can subsequently use for download any of the oracle or any middleware softwares so the command is uh, java hyphen jar and the name of your installer which is a jar file which is a generic jar file so this is a syntax which you can use to install in your windows machine as well as on any other operating system like linux because as i said this is a generic uh, uh, jar folder uh, jar installer okay which is uh, based on your java virtual machine jvm so as soon as you have this jvm available for any operating system you can able to install this java uh, based uh, application server which is weblogic in that uh, operating system so once you will enter it will take some time for extracting the installer so it will take some time to initiate the installer based on the configurations of your machine and after doing some initial checks of your machine it will show you this first window of the installation it is a welcome screen about the generic uh, details of the weblogic application server so just click on next button 
On the next screen, it will show you about uh, to skip auto updates or select patch from directory or select my Oracle support for updates. So by default, you can select the skip auto updates. Okay, this is because this is an option where uh, you can select like search my Oracle support for update and where you have to provide your Oracle support uh, username and password to get uh, the update from the Oracle. So basically, whenever we do this kind of installation, so we always prefer uh, as, a, as, a, as a generic habit, we always prefer to skip this auto updates. Just click on next. So next it will ask you for an Oracle home. So this is again the same directory uh, where uh, you wanted to install this Oracle WebLogic server. So I have a directory in uh, with name WLS12214 inside C, C folder. So I have selected the same. So this is my Oracle home from the WebLogic. Click on next. In this screen, you will get an option to install WebLogic server coherence and complete with examples. So as I said, so by default selected is WebLogic server, which is the application server. And then second option is coherence, which is another another option for which is required for uh, for some kind of a, uh, performance enhancement of your uh, WebLogic servers. And then uh, third one is the complete with examples. If you wanted to install examples as well, then you can select that one. So I'm going with the default one, which is a WebLogic server. Okay, and then again, it will perform certain checks. It will check for certain configurations if your operating system is certified to run with this WebLogic server or not. And apart from that, it will do some other checks as well, like Java version and some more. And then it will display in the screen. If it is failed, then you will get this message on the screen why it is failed. And before going ahead for the installation, you have to fix uh, those uh, checks that has been failed. Now in the final screen, you will see uh, a summary of the installations like installation location where it is going to install the software this WebLogic server and the log location where it is going to be logged and then the required size for uh, for this installation what is the available size and the core component it is going to install with the WebLogic. If you wanted to save this uh, a file with this all this information you have an option this click save response file and then you can save this uh, uh, response file in some location for uh, to reference it later point okay and then like next click on you can install so now it will take some time for the installation and as again based on your configurations of your machine it will take the time it will be very so now you can see in the screen that installation has been completed so don't get surprised because it took almost uh, two to three minutes for the installation and i have paused the video my recording uh, during that period okay so now when it is done you can just click on finish Okay, now you can uh, you can go to your uh, location where you have uh, installed your um, this uh, WebLogic server. Okay, so this is the directory where I have installed my WebLogic server, which is WLS12214. And inside that one, you can able to see certain folders are there. Okay, so in detail, we'll see uh, some other videos in the same series about what is the purpose of all these directories and what are the content inside that one and what is the exact use of that one. So as of now, we can see that the certain more important directories are like your uh, WL server, uh, which is also called a WebLogic home. And another is the OPatch directory, which is used for applying the certain patches. An Oracle common is a directory where you will find certain common components uh, along with certain scripts and we'll see that what is the use of all those scripts in our next subsequent videos. Thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for the next uh, next coming videos. Thank you.